Right now, residents in Great Neck and Virginia Beach are trying to salvage what's left of their homes. The National Weather Service confirms an EF3 tornado tore through the area last night, leaving behind considerable damage. Thankfully, no injuries or deaths are reported at this time. Now, Mayor Bobby Dyer calls it a miracle. We have team coverage tonight on the aftermath. Our crews are in Virginia Beach to get a look at the damage and to learn more about recovery efforts. David Allen is live at Great Neck Middle School, one of the three schools forced to close today. David, any update on when classes could resume? And Nicole, I've not received an update on that, but we will be following that, that EF3 tornado that you talk about. I agree with Bobby Dyer. It is a miracle that no one was injured or hurt. Jeff, you called it the worst you've ever seen. Yeah, in person. You know, the stuff in Suffolk, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago was worse, you know, the video, because that the homes were just gone. There were only slabs left. But in terms of what I've seen, absolutely, this is the worst. What really struck me, one of the things was, you know, you'd look up at a second floor gone and you'd see what was a bedroom and there's no furniture. And you're like, where'd the furniture go? I guess it's all in little tiny pieces, all that you're, the debris you're seeing around scattered in the yard. So that got me. And then the fact that, you know, as you and I walk through the neighborhood, there's some tree damage and then there's major tree damage. And then a few blocks later, it's the houses are pretty much destroyed. All literally within, you know, a half mile, or, well, probably about a mile of each other. How quickly that storm must have gone from nothing to a one to a two to a three and then back to a one and died out. Right. And, and you, so you saw a house that you believe was moved six feet off his foundation. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it was clearly moved. And uh, Craig showed the one next to it earlier that was also moved. And it's just unbelievable, the damage. Yeah, I know. And you were in there this morning seeing that. We saw a lot of the tree crews in the neighborhood. Yeah. And I think a lot of the pictures they've been showing, I'm told, are the ones that I took this morning. So yeah. I you know, I have a ton of friends. I lived in that neighborhood for 17 years. I lived in all Bay Island, Chelsea, and Broadway Point Greens were all hit. Three of the four communities that were hit last night, I've lived in three of them, so I have a lot of a lot of neighbors and friends. All right. Well, um, the city took uh, some media into the damaged area this afternoon. Our Allison Basil was a part of that. And Allison, do we have an estimate yet, uh, a clear estimate as to the amount of damage? Well, David, so far, Virginia Beach city leaders estimate the tornado created more than $15 million in residential damage alone. When we toured the uh, Broad Bay Point Greens neighborhood earlier today, we saw destruction at just about every turn. We saw many of the homes are missing roofs. There's walls caved in and trees are just about everywhere. While many homes got caught in the EF3 tornado's path of destruction, Virginia Beach city leaders say no one got hurt. It is indeed a miracle. A city spokeswoman says it destroyed nine homes. The twister also left 36 homes uninhabitable and dozens more with significant damage. I just want to thank God for the sovereign grace shown to this region. Virginia Beach Police Chief Paul Newdigate says they already had an emergency operations center set up for the Something in the Water Festival weekend and quickly deployed those resources to the Great Neck area yesterday. We had numerous officers on the ground with our fire department actively going house to house. Fire and rescue crews helped remove some debris. A lot of what we were dealing with was gas leaks, so we were securing the gas leaks from the structures that were damaged. Right now, utility crews and tree removal service trucks line neighborhood streets, and neighbors are coming together to help each other to repair and rebuild. Bringing the chainsaws out, just really working together uh, to make the best of a bad situation. And if you are going to drive around this area, take note, there are police officers controlling the intersection, especially around the neighborhood. They're only letting residents in and anyone providing services like tree services and utility services to that neighborhood. And Virginia Beach Police Chief Paul Newdigate expects road closures in this area to last about the next 24 to 48 hours. Live in Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.